so far on Balancing Bias. I'm, I'm on this new TV show called The Jack and Triumph Show. I'm going to be on it. Now, if, if I was racist, now, now, would I have done that? Now, 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 now. Put a ring on it, player. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I'm starting to get auditions quite often. Audition, which is a series regular on the new Netflix show tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's cool. But the thing is, my aunt is giving birth tomorrow. How about if I get the damn time, I want to stand like that here. It's not gonna be in here, freak. I just told you that. And he can kiss my motherfucking ass. Yeah, I liked it better like that. Oh. 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 Uh -uh, not me. Boy get bitten up out here or something felt like Woo! Woo! Uh, in all seriousness, so What's up guys? Somebody just sneezed. I was like, I thought it sounded like a bear. I'm in the country. Bang, just bite me up out here. Uh-uh, not me, not your luck. The year before last I shot a project called If You Were Black and um I released it last year. Did I give you permission to walk across my property, white boy? Huh? Bunch huh? Who said that it was okay for you to walk on my property, huh? Who said that it was okay for you to walk across my property, huh? Put the gun down, man! Who said that it was okay for you to walk on my property, huh? Wait, 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 stand still, stand still. Don't move. Don't move. Stand right there. Stand right there. Stand right there. Huh? Who said it was okay for you to walk across my property? Fonte, let him go! It's not gonna be coming on my property unless you're not buying stuff. You hear me? Nah, man, I'm just passing by. Relax. Lee. I'm out. Lee. 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 This year, actually in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna be flying out to Oklahoma to shoot a part two of it. And it's called If He Were Black Too. And so if he were black, the whole you know, concept of that is it's my views against the judicial system. So, you know, I just feel like things in America, you know, things are actually getting better, you know, we're starting to move, you know, we're starting to progress and people's eyes are actually starting to open and it's good that, you know, we're able to unite as one. I saw this interview one time on the, um, on the Tap and Smiley show. Oh, ho. whoa, 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 fam, chill, man. Oh, ho. So I saw this interview on the Tap and Smiley show, and it was about this this one this one guy. He was speaking about how. If we just can, if we start to look at the human race as a DNA, then racism will come to an end. I don't know. It was a kind of. It was a. I can't. I can't figure out the guy's name because I was like in the middle of, the, of watching the interview. But I don't know. He was just saying something that I don't know. It kind of just stuck with me when he when he said that. How do I feel about officers? I think there are some good cops. And I think that there are some bad cops. Bad cops, which, you know, I'm sure there are more good cops than there are bad cops. They're making a lot of the good cops look bad. And so, like, I don't know, I've, I've come to understand, like, you can't judge people based off of their, of their, you can't just judge people as a whole because that's not right because officers they do protect us like if somebody's breaking into your house or if somebody is um doing whatever harmful or anything like that we call for the cops because we need the cops and that's just the reality of it it ain't no oh i'm mr tough guy we don't do the police blah blah, blah. if something happens 
eventually you're going to need the cops. And that's just the reality. What I feel like they need to do, they need to come up with some laws for the officers. They need to put, they need to put cameras on these cops. They need to, they need to uh, uh, have mics hooked up to them. They need to have GPS on them. They need to have, they need to load these officers up just like how they load these guys up, the, the army up when they're going out of, out of, uh, on active duty. Something just has to come to an end. This is just crazy. It's just getting out of control. Cops are shooting at unarmed African American men. That's just ridiculous. That is, that is crazy. And it's for like, what reason? Why are you killing? Why do you need to kill? Why, why do you feel like some of these people are a threat to you? If you're so scared, if you feel like you're going to be nervous one day or whatever, just like choose a different job. Much love to the officers who has, who do the right job, the, who, who do their job the right way. Much love to you guys. We need you. I need you for my aunt. I need you to watch over my little brothers. I need you to, I need y'all to uh, help, help my grandfather. If anybody needs you, we need you. Thank you. But for some of these guys to just like, I, you know what I wonder? I wonder what it is that caused some of these guys to do these things. Like, what, you, what is your thought process when you wake up? What do you think about what's going on inside of you? What's going on inside of your mind that's telling you that I can kill this, I should kill this guy? What's, what's making you think these things? I don't know, it just doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense. I feel like people need to be a little bit more humble with themselves. And how can, it, how can, those, how can we possibly prevent some of these things from happening? If you feel like an African American or a person of color or whoever, if you feel like they are a threat to you or could possibly be a threat to you, go get some some help. Go, you know, go see a, you know, go speak to someone. Go, you know, I'm not saying give up on your job or anything like that, but just like go speak to someone about it. You know, seek professional help. Get therapy. Express how you feel. Right now, I'm on my way to work. You know, I work at this organic um, farm to table restaurant. At the end of the day, you gotta pay these bills. Shoot. Shoot. First of the month coming. Ain't nobody trying to hear nothing. You trying to, you gotta pay them things. But. So I'm just thinking about everything that's going to go down in Oklahoma. Uh, my buddy Marlon, who I was speaking about, he is going to be directing part two of a zombie web series called Bad to the Jones. I went out to Oklahoma a couple years ago to assist and direct and executive produce that. So Marlon wants me to play a role in it. And that's what I am going to do. So it's gonna be this is like going it's gonna be like a it's gonna be my kind of a vacation. Leave out the state, go make a couple movies, be in a couple movies. Yeah guys, we need everybody to please share, share, share the vlog, share what we post. Follow, follow, follow me on Instagram, follow me on on Facebook and Twitter, and follow my buddy Marlon. Follow my buddy Marlon at Marlon Lad TV. We really need everybody to like share this and comment and subscribe. You know, the more people that share our videos, the more it'll be able to get out there. And you know, we just we out here making films to to make a difference. This is how we like it. It's art to us. Please watch some of our previous videos. Also, like, share, and subscribe.